everyone, this is Destiny out here at Kennyland Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out an Astoria by Dutchman. This here is a fifth wheel. We have a 2022 3343 BHF. So we are in a bunkhouse. Some really great features about this Astoria is that we are just under 38 feet long and just over 10,000 pounds dry weight. Let me show you all the details this has to offer. So starting with the outside, here is a quick overview of the body of this fifth wheel. Now getting into some details, starting with these aluminum steps. These are really great, lightweight. They fold right up into the doorway. The top step is a little bit larger, so you can leave your uh, shoes right there on top. We have little pedestal feet to adjust it for whatever terrain's needed. A good grab handle, and check out this awning. It covers the door. We've got some outdoor speakers. And right here is access to our pass-through storage compartment. As you can see here, you can access on both sides of the unit. We've got some lighting and some outlets, beautiful LED strip right under there. Great access. And here's our solar prep. As you can see right there, it is all ready to go. You have an LP tank on each side, so they have their own little compartments right there. Moving to the front, we can check out this cap and a large front window. Here we have our Rotaflex fifth wheel hitch and under here is our access to our battery, spare tire, a little bit extra storage. And moving to this side, we've got access to the other LP tank. Taking a peek in here, we have our electronic leveling system built right in. Good extra cubby there. And here are some hookups, city water connection, cable. We've got the uh, handles for our black tank and gray tank flush, and they are separated. So you've got one on this side and then moving further down underneath the second slide. Here's a quick look at the black tank flush and your power hookup. And check out those alloy wheels and that suspension, a good uh, separation between those. Here's a peek at our leveling jacks and the other um, gray tank flush right there. There is our slide to the bunk room. Moving to the back, this is pretty cool. The Astoria has a specific spot to be able to store those hoses so you can tuck them inside right there. And we do have a little bit of a hitch so you can add a little cargo rack. Right above, we are prepped for a backup camera or a lane assist camera, it does both. The Astoria has the uh, ladder attached to the back so you can access the roof. Right over here, we have our fresh water connection and a little surprise, we've got an outdoor kitchen. Taking a look, we have some cabinetry overhead, some outlets, your refrigerator, fully extending drawer, and right here is a peek at our grill. Now your LP is already synced up underneath the unit, so you will have easy access to be able to plug it up and get your flanking cooking. So check this out, we have an awning that is attached to the slide and it's going to come out and cover this little entertainment area. So you have a spot to mount your TV and your hookups to plug it in and connect to the uh, cable. So you can have an outdoor entertainment section right off of this slide out in addition to the awning that already covers the front side of the unit. I always like to start out with a quick overview of the floor plan so you have an idea what we are looking at. You walk into the kitchen area. We have an opposing slide between these two. Moving back, we have our bunkhouse area. Again, just a quick overview and we will go into all the specs. Check it out, we have a half bathroom. That's right, one and a half bathrooms in this fifth wheel. Coming up to the front, we do have our main restroom and straight back to the primary bedroom with a wardrobe slide and a closet. All right, let's check out some details. Starting with our big slide right here, we have our booth dinette. Of course, these black legs are going to come out completely removable, so that way you can take this tabletop, pop it right onto these ledges, spread out the cushions, and bam, you have extra sleeping booth. You could put two children right there, 
perfect size. What I really love about this vinyl upholstery is that they are zippers, um, so you can remove them and give them a good scrubbing and cleaning if need be. I really love the darkening shades. Look at that. So you can black out the camper, quick easy up. Also love all the big windows. They each have their own screens. So you can open up and let the breeze come in on a nice spring day. Here is a look at our movie theater style recliners. So we've got our handle right here. Just give it a pull and you have your recliners, cup holders, and a little storage right in here. I love the vinyl flooring throughout the unit. As you can see, it carries over to the slides themselves, so you do not have to worry about carpet. Moving over here to the entertainment area, we have a large television. This here is going to be the Jensen on the swivel bracket, so you will be able to pull it out and face it whatever direction you need it to go. I love the gold, rose gold accessories. Look at this beautiful hardware we've got. We have our extra storage for some movies right above. Moving down here, we do have our Jensen radio. This right here is going to be a zone A and zone B, meaning we have an outdoor speaker in entertainment area. You can control your Bluetooth, the television, everything that you can get inside, you can also get outside, which is really neat. I love that they include the HDMI and the USB right here in the front, so you don't have to go digging around to the back of the television. Here's all your accessories to go with it. Here we have our fireplace. This not only is beautiful and changes colors, but it does omit heat. That's right, you don't have to burn up the LP. You can opt for an electric option using this fireplace. Moving into our kitchen area, I love the island they have here. The two-tone on the cabinet tree just really gives it an extra something special. These right here are solid surface countertops. So you do not have to worry about laminate peeling. And check out this undermounted stainless steel farmhouse sink. We've got the full drying rack. Peel it back and look how deep this is. I love the finishes that they have. We've got this residential faucet with the sprayer. You can move it, Got has different settings right there and just love that matte black finish. Down below, we have some extra storage underneath the sink, lots of spots to stash the dishes. Over here, we have another little drawer hidden right here to the side. We've got our CO2 sensor. You will never sleep through those. If you haven't heard them, they are extremely loud. My favorite part though, we have outlets on the back side of the island. Outlets are everything. Moving over to this beautiful set of cabinetry. Of course, we've got loads of storage in each of these. I love even the little trim pieces on top. It just makes it feel very residential. Gorgeous little backsplash and check this out. We have more outlets and the lightning charger and USB. Again, those solid surface countertops. And look at this, fully extending drawer so you can reach way to the back making sure that you're taking advantage of every nook and cranny. Moving over to the little slide. I love that Astoria throws in these little LED lights right here in the slide trim. It just adds a nice, beautiful touch. We have an exhaust fan right overhead. And check this out, more cabinet storage. I love that they just take advantage of every little spot they can, so that way you can utilize every space Here's a look at our Greystone microwave. Good, decent size. We have our three burner cooktop stove. This does have the glass top, so when you need more countertop space, you can cover it up and use it as such. I love that we've got a little window with a screen, so if cooking isn't going so well and it's getting a little smoky, you've got a window to open up. That would be me. Right over here, we have another hidden charging port and outlet station. These outlets are really great, especially in this kitchen area. Here's a look at our Greystone oven, all matching stainless steel appliances. And let's check out our refrigerator. Lots of cubbies and storage right there and up here. 
check it out. We have another outlet on this wall. And I love when units leave a little bit of blank wall. That just leaves extra spot for photos, hanging items, just decor in general. I just really love when they do that. And this Astoria has plenty of places to leave uh, photos and just add your personal touch. Moving back to the bunkhouse. That's right, you put the kids in the back parents in the front. Let's check out this bunkhouse. So coming in, as you can see, we have the LED backlight in the framing and check out the detail of the slide. I just think it's so beautiful. We have a little space for the kiddos to have dinner, do homework, whatever you need. And of course, same thing like in the booth, you can remove these legs, move this table down right here to these brackets, fold out your cushions and we have another spot to sleep somebody but that's not all right overhead when the table and booth or booth is not in use you can lower the bunk bed and we have a little twin bunk right here with a window I also love that they've put in some chargers for us and over on this side you guessed it we have another bunk this one is a little bit more wide you could fit an adult right here again we've got usb right there a little ladder which i like you can tuck out of the way when traveling here is our entertainment section you are prepped to add the cable and you have your outlets right there a little bit of wardrobe for you to stash the clothing and right over here we have a little bit more space there's your power cord that is a look at the bunkhouse, but let's not forget the kiddos have their own little restroom. Right down here, we have a porcelain toilet. This is a really great uh, upgrade, easier to clean and a lot more durable. We have some more outlets, good deep storage, and my favorite part, solid surface countertops carried to the bathroom, but we have a large deep sink this is everything as you know most campers have little tiny bowls it's very difficult to use but this one astoria thought of everything a large bowl look at this we've got a little cubby to stash the toothbrushes and more storage overhead even a spot to hang the towels and right over here we have our control for the air xl we can turn the fan on open the vent turn it off all from the control switch right there and you've got your vent right overhead. So they even thought of that. No climbing on top of the toilet to open up the fan. And look at all this blank wall space to decor, add decor with all the way through. I just love it. All right, let's check out the front. Okay, right over here you have your breaker box and coming up the steps, here is our main bathroom. Here is our vent and did you notice the light? We have motion sensor lights in a lot of these uh, bedrooms and uh, closets. So that one is a motion sensor. We have a spot to hang our towel, another porcelain toilet, a pocket door. So there is no door swinging right here in the walkway. Over here, again, our solid surface countertops, a good deep sink. And if you ever notice in campers, this pink stuff right here, this is letting you know that the unit has been winterized, that all the pipes have been safe to sit while they're waiting for their new owner to come. And when you buy from us, we do go through and flush out the winterization to make sure that when you get your camper, it is ready to camp that same day. Right under here, we have some more storage an outlet for the curling irons more storage here and of course overhead taking a peek inside our standing shower we have a latch right here for when you are traveling you can just open it up slide it shut and we've got the three tier plexi right there and i love the matte black removable shower head and the little notches all throughout to store all the shampoo and body washes. Here is a window right in the hallway, again with the darkening shade and with the screen. I always love the fact that I can open up all the windows in a unit and just let the breeze come on through. Right over here, we have the other control for the vent in the restroom. And here right is our control panel. You can check the battery level, of course, all of your tanks. 
here's our Dometic AC with all of the controls right there and we have some main switches for some lighting. So during the tour, you may have noticed these little green tapes poking out in random spots. That just lets us know that our technician has recently been in and done an evaluation, letting everyone know that they are working on whatever is marked. A little stuff like that, you can rest assured we are checking it out and you can take this and confidently know every nook and cranny has been explored and dealt with. Moving into our bedroom, the primary bedroom. I love the window overhead, and yes, it has a darkening shade on it. We have built-in in tables with, you guessed it, USB chargers and outlets. Right here's a little extra storage, and we have some more up here and over this way. I love putting little baskets inside of there. It's very easy to pull them out whenever you need it. Right here is where you can go ahead and mount your television. Here is the control for the AC right on this side. That's right, we have two ACs in the bedroom and there is one there in the main area. Moving over here, this right here is a slide. So we have a full wardrobe slide with tons of space. This one is going to be for your hanging clothes right there. We also have more cabinetry in the end table and we've got our drawers. Again, with the motion sensor light, as soon as I came over, this is gonna be more wardrobe. Or if you would like, we have a washer and dryer prep. That is right, perfect spot. Do your laundry right here in this fifth wheel. Little factoid, if you are unaware, this right here is called a quick dump. When you are needing to cool down the space quickly, you are just going to leave it open. And when you are ready to close it, you are just going to push it shut like so. And that forces the air through the vents. If you wanna cool it off quickly, then we are just going to push it back that way. Little added feature I love is just the detail in the door. This one has it notched out. So it looks like little squares the matte black doorknobs and all the finishes, including the railing, really like that too. This is a beautiful Astoria. We'd love for you to come check it out in person out here at County Line Cambers in Gulfport, Mississippi. We're at 12131 Bernard Parkway, right off the Callan Lorraine exit. We hope to see you soon.